Hey, hey, hey. Hey, everybody. Welcome. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to my channel. Ruth, you're the first one. You are on the ball, girl. Woohoo! Just getting a little organized here. I put a couple things in the box. And I got a bowl of warm water here. And I got some kind of a breakout right here in the crook of my neck. I don't... It's like four or five little bites or something. I don't know. I think a flea got me. Anyway. What would life be without a flea bite every now and then? Let's get my... Let me get my little headband on. Hey, Yvette. What's going on? This ain't working, y'all. I gotta do something different. I'm gonna wear it tonight. I think it matches my top the best. Let me get my hair up out of the way. I'm about ready to cut about three or four inches off this hair. It has really grown. Hey, 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 Miss Janet. How are you doing? Hey, Emily. What is going on? Okay, it's a good time to celebrate on the weekends. I just finished my last piece of birthday cake yesterday. Okay, that's better. Good, I'm glad you took a nap. I did not get a nap today. I feel like I need one. My husband made this killer pot of chili, y'all. And uh, anyway, about 6 o'clock, I had a nice big old bowl of it. And I have just been so lazy ever since. Yeah, hang out with us while you're driving, Yvette. That's awesome. She's got her Bluetooth on, obviously, where she can talk to us. Y'all, I got to get this makeup off. Mm. You just woke up too? Good. Glad y'all are feeling better. A nap. A nap will really help you stay up till mid <laughs> midnight, won't it? I'm probably not going to keep y'all that long, though. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to my channel. I guess I could turn on the light here. Y'all, I got this heat blaring. It is going down to 21 degrees here tonight. I'm talking about Arctic blast. Holy moly. It hardly ever gets that cold here in Tennessee. Yeah. Take your makeup off. Let's wash our face. Oh, I didn't do a very good job putting my hair back. But anyway, we're rolling with it. We're rolling with it. Thirty-two. Hmm. Let me grab my good old friend Garnier here. I'm gonna do a double cleanse here. I brought, I brought uh, a cleanser over here to use after I get through with this. Let me tell y'all something. That Tarte Stay Spray keeps your makeup on. I mean, it's not going anywhere. 
I'm talking about your concealer, your powder, everything. It stays on your face. I know I slept last night with an extra blanket on the bed and uh, and you know you want to like block the draft from coming in underneath your doors and stuff you know like the front door I don't have one of those rubber stopper things and uh, you know that sucks the air and keeps it airtight and so um, just we have an old blanket that we just lay down in front of the front door we do things old school around here. That's country people for you. You need an electric blanket. Hey, Jonna. Oh, you're not late. We're just getting started. Yeah, I don't like cold. I don't like the cold weather. I hate it. Hate it, hate it, hate it. I told my husband, I said, now I understand. Now that I'm 63, I understand why retired people go south for the winter. They go to Florida for the winter. Let me soak this eye here. Ay, matey. <laughs> yeah, we just need, we need extra warmth. Yeah, I'm going to be a pirate lassie. Oh, I need some good skincare, y'all. I, I say that, but I was going through my channel tonight, and I was looking. Yeah, I'm the pirate. The pirate queen. But anyway, out of the last two or three weeks, that I have focused so much on skincare on my videos. I haven't done as many makeup looks as I really want to, so I'm going to try to do... I'm going to try to get in, I'm going to try to do at least two makeup looks a week. I say that, we'll see what happens. Anyway, I just love skincare so much. It's just, it's so easy for me to just do skincare videos. A heat patch on my lower back all day, I hate the cold. So we, we all have that in common. I mean, it gets so cold. I mean, my arms, if my feet and my arms and my shoulders and my hands, you know, are warm, usually I'm okay. But once I get a chill, like, you know, in the upper part of my body, I'm just like freezing. And my feet. You love the cold? Oh my gosh, Yvette. <laughs> There's people like you. I know a lot of, my husband's like that. He likes the cold air. He will, he will shut the door to keep the heat from going in that back room back there just so that he will have some cool air. He loves it. I tease him. I say he's part polar bear. <laughs> you need a hot tub in your bathroom? Oh, yeah, that'd be awesome. And have a fireplace right next to it. <laughs> While we're dreaming, let's dream big, Janet. You sleep in your socks. Y'all have long johns. You know, not the mankind, you know, but. Hey, 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 Erica, Sue, how are you? And a computer. Oh, yeah, Janet, that's funny. Yeah, one, we can soak in the tub without, you know, having to type. You can just, y'all, I got like a couple, two, three bites right here. I got this first aid ointment. Let me put some on. This is called Green Goo. And it's an organic first aid ointment for dry cracked hands and feet, insect bites, scrapes, rashes, chafing, cuts, sunburns, and poison ivy. And it works good even on sweet pea. Because she'll get a bite and she'll scratch and scratch till she breaks the skin. And I just rub some of this ointment. I've had it for a while. I got it from the Daily Goodie Box. Anyway, but you just, it's, it's kind of like, it's firm. But it, it, you just rub it on the spot wherever you've got a irritation. 
you don't have fleas oh my gosh the fleas here the bugs here they they celebrate their birthdays they live all year round so but anyway right now we've got the mice are trying to run in you know because it's so cold outside they've been trying to run in for about a month now hey 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 jamie hey valerie how are y'all doing welcome welcome Alabama. All right. I'm going to save this other cotton ball for my toner. I want to use this cleanser tonight, y'all. I got this in a boxy charm. And I don't remember using it yet. So I want to use it tonight. It's called the Glam Glow clearing cream to foam cleanser and i love this brand so anyway we buy the we get these like uh sticky papers no i haven't used it y'all the safety seal is still on it so you know what that means we're gonna have to sing the song so let's sing the song y'all sing it with me here we go. Safety seal, safety seal. We like it when the products have a safety seal. I know I'm crazy for opening another product, but how are you going to experience what you like and what you don't like if you don't open it? All right, let me read these instructions real quick. Squeeze a generous amount onto dry hands, add warm water, and rub hands together to create a foaming lather and apply to dry face and massage evenly in circular motions, rinse well and pat dry. Use daily as desired. Do not use as a mask. Okay. Yeah, it's going to be like 21 degrees is the low tonight. Let's see what color this is, y'all. Ooh, it's gray. Oh, and it smells good, too. I just love Glam Glow. Okay, so rub it on your hands. And then I'm going to get some water. And we're going to slap it on. Oh, this smells good, y'all. But anyway, I was going to tell y'all about our the mice. The, we've tried traps. We've tried um, we've tried a lot of different things. But the thing that works best for us, I don't know how it is with y'all, but we've got these sticky papers. And you just lay them out wherever you see droppings, you know. and Because uh, you know that's where they, their trail is. Or places, you know, where you've... You know, like in the cabinets or wherever. And, uh, and uh, anyway, the sticky papers are about uh, like a five by seven size. And, uh, I need more water. And so anyway, when they step on them, their feet get stuck. And of course they're going to try to fight to get off of it. And then the more they fight, the stick, the more stuck they get. And then they finally get tired and then they'll just like slump down and then their whole body's stuck to it. The 23 boxes is a decon. We bought a box of decon one time. This was years ago. We had a mouse in the house and that mouse went through the air vents you know in the house and i guess it had drunk some water because that's how they it, they die they drink water and then it dehydrates them and they get real sick and they die anyway he was dead in in the the what do you call it in the wall or the you know where the air vent is and we couldn't get him out and he stunk oh my god the house stunk for like a month it was horrible Hey, Deb, how are you doing? Did you sing with me? Y'all sing with me? 
That's good. Yeah, Sweet Pea, when she hears them, you know, scratching around or something, she'll run to where they're at. And so that gives me a good indication of where I need to. But see, the thing is, see, I can't lay the sticky paper down where Sweet Pea's going to step on it. This is not foaming up, y'all. Maybe I got too much. I don't know. Anyway, there we go. I think uh, I just didn't. Too much cleanser and not enough water. You can't do the sticky paper? Oh, yeah, because like once you catch one, you have to pick it up. <laughs> I put it in the trash or whatever. Yeah, the, the chihuahuas are good for catching mice, but I don't want sweet pea trying to run after them and catch them. Because, you know, they carry diseases. And I don't want to take a risk on her getting sick or... You sing the safety seal song when you're at home. That's good. Okay, this is good enough, y'all. I'm dripping. I'm ready to get this off. You're going to do a black charcoal peel-off mask. Yeah, Maggie. Maggie, Maggie. Come on over. So anyway, I'm just going to use my glove tonight. I'll just get it off. Yeah, see, that's sad. When when you got a pet that gets home on the sticky papers, it's sad right there. Hey, Lois, how you doing? Oh, my. Someone killed a bat here. I thought it was a ball of yarn. Good night. I don't know what I'd do if I had a bat in my house. It keeps freezing. Is it my internet? It could be, Deb, because I'm not having any problems here. And no one else has said anything about it. Just um, click out and then come back. You could just restart your computer even. And then come back. Yeah, winter's day. Definitely a winter day up there in Michigan. I saw your beef stew, Lois. It looked good. We fixed a pot of chili yesterday, and we ate on it yesterday and today. I don't think I rinsed my face good enough, y'all. Does it look like it's kind of gray right there? Let me rinse it off again. You're at your sister's house pet sitting. Oh, well, that's nice. Hey, Rita, how are you doing? My husband has a live trap. He would take the rats from the barn down the road and let them go into the woods. There you go. They built a house across the street this uh, these last few months. And, of course, it was a wooded area, and they had chopped down the trees. But anyway, any nests, you know, around the trees or whatever were disturbed. And so, anyway, did our neighbor say that he had a problem with mice, honey? No, he got spiders. Spiders is what he's got. Anyway, but anyway... I'm, I'm pretty sure we're not the only ones dealing with it, but if it gets if it gets out of hand, we'll have to call an exterminator. We've had to do that before. You getting ready to go to work? Hello, Mary. How you doing? Beautifying MZ in the house. Yay! I made porcupine meatballs Saturday and then Italian sausage roll-ups for dinner tonight. Wow, Janet. You're feeding them men good. I hope you ate some of that good food, too. My internet must be acting up. The video kept stopping. I had hit play. You may have to back out itself and reboot your computer and then come back. Sometimes that'll solve the problem. But no, there's a... Uh, how about the rest of y'all? You getting a good connection? I haven't had a problem.
Yeah, sure would. I mean, they smell that um, nocturnal creatures will find their way back to where their nest was from the smell of their urine. And that includes foxes, raccoons, mice, rodents, squirrels, you know, all them. All them creatures. Good. I got I mean my connection's good. You're at work for another half hour. Okay. Lois, I was gonna tell you it's going down to 21 degrees here tonight. Oh my gosh. It's too cold. Too cold. I got the heat the heat rolling. All right, so that is that. That was amazing. You know that um, Glam Glow Mud Mask? What's it called? Um, the Youth Mud Glow Stimulating Treatment. The one that's in, you know, that's the gray one. That's what this reminds me of. It's got that um, kind of a scent. It smells kind of like a combination of like licorice and cloves and eucalyptus. I don't know. Anyway, it's very invigorating. I like it. So, my skin feels extremely clean. It doesn't feel stripped at all, though, but it's definitely matte. So, we're going to have to moisturize. Hey, Kelly, what's going on? I know, Rita, we just got started. It's, it's just now November. We still got all the way to go to March. Oh, my gosh. How are we going to make it, y'all? Oh, good. Hey, Wilma, welcome. Hey, Carla, how you doing? Welcome, welcome, everybody. Yes, yes, Lois. Thank you, Jesus, for heat. Woo. So, who else doing skincare with me tonight? I just had to get my face clean before I did anything else. Let me set this bowl of water out by the way. Y'all, I've been playing in eyeshadow this afternoon. This Ace Butte Flare Palette. Check it out, y'all. I've been playing in these yellows and blues and greens. Not on my face. I haven't gotten that far yet, but I did do some swatches and I mixed some colors together just to you know, see what, how they're all going to mix together, the different textures and the shades and everything. This olive green right here and this teal are both mattes and they are so pigmented. Oh my gosh. And this beautiful blue shimmer right here just mixes well with all of those shades. So anyway, look, look for a look from me later on this week. With that, I'm excited. Oops, dropping stuff. All right, let's do some toner. Yeah, it is very colorful. So, but anyway, I've been... Um, thinking about fall looks and stuff you know and I kind of like the teal and the lime green kind of it's not your typical fall type look but I want to do one see what I can create I can't stand snakes y'all Oh, you've well, you've been going through it, hadn't you, Barbara? Nope, no snakes here. No snakes here. Of course, one good thing about snakes is if you know they'll catch the mice, but I don't want them just running around free like that. <laughs> 
And I don't want to go buy mice or try to catch mice myself to feed my snake. But anyway. Okay. Let's go in with a little bit of toner here. I need to... Let's do a balancing toner tonight. Since this has already mattified my skin, I don't, I don't want to add uh, any clarification or any BHAs on top of this. So let me go with this one from uh, Huanga Sue. It's a green caviar um, facial toner. It's a, a comforting and balancing toner with a pH of 5.6. Yeah, try some greens, Janet. You that'll make your little blue eyes pop. John is oh my. All right, so I'm just gonna put some on a cotton round and you know. Not much, just enough to kind of, you know, get it. Yeah, the joys of being a girl on antibiotics. Every time, every time I have to take any kind of medicine like that, I just, right off the bat, I just start eating yogurt. So you can, uh, apple cider vinegar, Barbara, if, you know, the tablets, you can buy those, um, in the pharmacy, the over the counter at Walmart. Yeah. And, uh, that'll help clean your system out too. Anyway, let me show you the one I've got. Here we go. You can get these at Walmart. Apple cider vinegar tablets. So if you feel like you've got a yeast infection that yogurt is not going to, you know, it's not, you know, it's not handling it, start taking these. But drink lots of water. It works like a charm. You can't swallow pills? Well, it's hard to swallow yogurt, I mean, uh, vinegar. But you can do it. I mean, you can just buy apple cider vinegar and just, you know, chug it down. If you're brave. I can't do it. Okay, so we got toner going. Yay, yay, yay. I couldn't believe y'all voted for Luke Fantastic. I was surprised. I missed all of I, We missed you too, Barbara. I've been thinking about you. I don't know if she is or not, Lois. There was a couple that had to reboot. Lois, you're so speedy. You get so much done. You're so productive. You get more done than any one person I've ever seen. I don't move that fast. What is going on, Lynn? How are you doing? There you go. That's a, that's a good idea, Rita, with the um, lemon and the honey. Okay, we got to get some moisture going here, y'all. This is a good cleanser. I mean, if you if you enjoy a good double cleanse, you know, and you want something that's um, going to mattify the skin, ding, 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 ding.
Yeah, give me a thumbs up. Thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up. Well, I finally got around to painting my nails, y'all. Huh. I'm using this. This is a brand that's it's called Creative Nail. I can't read it. Creative Nail. Anyway. You can't hardly see the logo. It's so... But this is a limited edition color, and I've had it for a really long time. And it dries quick, and I don't know why. It's just so dark, you know? So that's probably why I haven't used it. But I'm just kind of in that mood, you know, this time of the year for fall. All these, like, dark maroons and browns really are just grabbing my attention. Hey, Sylvia. Well, it's good to see you tonight, Lynn. I'm sorry to hear about you not feeling good, but hopefully you'll kick that respiratory infection really soon. Yay, starting college. All these beautiful young people in here. How are you doing, Sylvia? Miss Jackson. All right, that felt pretty good, y'all. Let's see. I need some... Let's go in with some organic stuff. Let, let's use some of this Earth Arbor. I'm going to use this Celestine. It's called Hydro Plumping Peptide Serum. I'm trying to use this up. So I'm going to get me a good dropper full of that. Yeah, Emily, you're dragging. It was about 10 minutes ago when we were talking about those eyeshadows. All right. That felt good. This right here absorbs into your skin just like immediately and does not leave any kind of a residue at all. But anyway, it, it started out blue, but it's changing colors to like a really, almost like a white. Anyway, I need to hurry up and use it up. It's organic. So, you know, when products are organic, they're, um, they can go bad. But you can extend their life, you know, by putting them in the freezer, their shelf life. All right. And then I'm going to go in with this uh, C-Retinol Digital Serum called Samphire. These are Earth Arbor products, y'all. Anyway, you got to shake this one up, too. Yeah, you were behind. You was behind, Emily. Glad to see you catching up. All right, and then a dropper full of this. I don't like touching the dropper to my skin. I just try to keep it, you know, sanitary. Well, that's cool, Lynn. A veterinarian assistant. Okay. All righty. This has sea samphire and blue light botanics in it. 
So it's a it's a it's a C retinol. A C retinol digital serum. And that soaks right in too. Yeah, if you like if you like animals, it would be a dream job. As a veterinary assistant, do you have would you have to uh, put animals down when it's their time? Okay, Janet. That's the, that'd be the hardest part about working at the vet is like putting, putting animals down. And then of course, when you clip their nails, you know, some of them get mad at you or they poop on you. <laughs> Stuff like that. See, that just absorbed right in. But it left a little bit of a glow on my skin. So, anyway, I can tell that I'm, I'm getting some hydration. You would assist in doing it? Ooh. Of course, when it's your job, you know, it's not like you're putting down your own pet, you know. So, you learn how to keep your objectivity, I would imagine. I'm just going to use this little lip balm. Y'all, I've been using the way out of this thing. I got it in my last Pinch Me box. It's the color changing one that's got aloe vera in it. And it goes on clear. And it causes my lips to turn pink. And it's really good and creamy. My lips feel kind of rough, like they need a good scrub or something. I don't know. I may wipe this off and put on a lip scrub. I think I wiped off my medicine. My uh, first aid, it's called Green Goo. It's for bug bites and all kinds of stuff. And I think I got a bug bite or two or three. You haven't been to school since 2014. Oh, I would imagine you would be nervous then. Well, as long as you apply yourself, I mean, you know. That's the thing about college. Every hour in class or in lab requires about three outside of class, it seems like. At least for me, it did. Okay, that feels pretty good. All right, so let's move on. Move on, move on, move on. I just want to use some serums tonight, y'all. I'm going to try this one from Lue by Jean Co. I'm at the end of it, and I just want to use it up. And this is a calming, uh, balancing serum. So I'm just going to put a couple of pumps on my skin. Hi, Janet. Welcome back. Yeah, it sounds that would be a fun job, you know, for you, if that's what you've been dreaming about. You know, people, if you have a passion for it, I say, you know, follow whatever wherever your passion takes you because you're going to need that passion to sustain you and have any kind of longevity in a career. Thank you. This is uh, from the Crim Shop. I won it in a giveaway from the opinionated horsewoman, Miss Stephanie. 
So I'm almost to the end of this, y'all. Look, it's right there. Oh, yeah, there's a certain tackiness on this one. Better let that sit for a couple minutes. You got to go, Rita. All right. All right. Hope to see you again soon. Thank you for coming. I'm getting my glow back, y'all. You getting up early in the morning, Valerie? Oh, y'all have a great Thanksgiving. That's awesome. We're getting ready for Thanksgiving here, too, at the house. Not that I'm having company over, but we always fix a nice meal for me and Terry. And then, of course, we have leftovers and, you know. So this year I want to do something different. I want I bought some um, sausage that's seasoned with sage and I want to mix it in with my, um, you know, I want to make stuffing. I always make cornbread dressing, but I want to do a little bit different this year with the, with the sausage in it. I think it'll be good. You know, and stuff it in the turkey and have all those juices dripping in, in on it. Oh, that just sounds so good. And the seasoning with the sage. Mm. Sage and poultry is a good combination. Especially for dressing. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving to you. All right. Now I'm going to go in with this one here from Peach and Lily. It's uh, got peach extract and a peptide complex. It's got niacinamide and wild yam in it. I love this one. It gives you glass skin. You're making your mom's sage dressing this year. Awesome. And then he usually likes to have a pecan pie or an apple pie. And then I, I got to have pumpkin pie. It's just, you know, I mean, I'll eat the others too, but I just, it's not Thanksgiving to me without pumpkin pie. I accidentally cooked a turkey upside one year. It was the juiciest bird ever. <laughs> I imagine so. I imagine so. All those drippings went right straight down to the breast. That's great. Yeah, I'm ready for some turkey, too. Yeah, I'm all about the turkey and the pumpkin pie. The turkey and the dressing and just all the traditional stuff. The green bean casserole. You know, the sweet potatoes, the cranberry sauce, the whole bit. It has chestnuts and onions in it. That sounds good. You know, I never had a chestnut in my life until about the year 2000. And we were living in Alabama. And on the property that we rented, there was a chestnut tree. And them things were big, y'all. You love pecan pie. My husband loves pecan pie. And he loves apple pie. So anyway, how much does our turkey weigh? Do you remember? 15 pounds. We got a 15 pound turkey for the two of us. Yep. Yep. <laughs> and Sweet Pea does not get any of it. She has to eat her dog food, y'all. She's, she's gained weight. She weighed six pounds at the vet. And that's like the maximum you know, that's her maximum weight where she need. you know, once she gets over that, she's considered overweight. Homemade deviled eggs. Oh, yeah. That sounds good. Everything sounds good. 
That's awesome, Ruth. I loved hanging out with my mom in the kitchen. She really didn't want me underneath her feet too much. So she would assign me things to do that I could you know, like sit at the dining room table and chop stuff, make salads. You know, I was like a sous chef, I guess. But as far as like standing right beside her near the oven in the stove or while she was mixing her bacon, she really didn't want me underneath her feet. But I did learn a lot from her. And I do have some of her recipes. I have her homemade spaghetti sauce recipe, which is like my favorite. Her Swiss steak recipe, her banana spice cake recipe, her banana pudding recipe. I mean, my mom, she 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 could throw down in the kitchen now. Pork roast, you know, with, with sauerkraut and mashed potatoes and applesauce. Oh, my gosh. Make your tongue slap your tonsils. Okay, so all those serums are absorbed. So now let's go in with some moisturizer. I'm trying to finish this one up still. I haven't really been paying too much attention to it this week, so I'm going to do it tonight. This is the Kate Somerville Goat Milk Moisturizer. And I mean, I am right to the end of it. My mom's meatloaf. I learned how to make it. Um, what else did I learn from my mom? Homemade bread. Cornbread. What else did I learn from her? I don't know. I can't remember. You know how it is. You, you, some things don't even require a recipe. You know, you just stand there and, and you just learn by eyeballing it. You know, that, and a lot of cooking is like that. Not baking, but cooking. But anyway, the first cake I ever made, you know, she helped me. Cookies, all kinds of cookies. Every year at Christmas, my mom would bake tons of cookies. Gingerbread cookies. She bought me my first recipe book. Oh, that's sweet, Ruth. Your own special little step stool. Ah. Yeah, and a homemade meringue. Banana pudding with homemade meringue. Chocolate pie. My mom made the best chocolate pie I ever put in my mouth. She was an amazing cook. My grandma cooked good, too. She made those Kentucky, those uh, Kentucky Blue Lake green beans. Y'all know which ones I'm talking about. The flat ones, the Italian style. She'd cook a whole pot of them. Now I'm going in with some eye cream. This is the Olay Henriksen Banana Bright Vitamin C eye cream. And I'm just going to tap this in. Homemade fruit cake. Oh my gosh. I'm coming to your house, Janet. <laughs> I love fruit cake. We always buy those little, you know, square ones that you get for like $2. You know what I mean? But homemade is the best. My mom would make jam cake. Oh, she was just, she was an incredible cook. You're going to make coffee cake and your grandma's special dressing. Mm. My daughter never wanted to cook. Thank God her husband cooks. Oh, yeah. Somebody in the family's got to cook or you're going to starve to death. Yeah, we'd, we would. We'd sit and snap them beans together, you know, make an afternoon of it and then Or, you know, shell peas or whatever. Oh, that would be awesome, Janet. Send the recipe. If you do send one, send the recipe. 
the English fruit cake, you have to feed it for a month. I tried that one time. I wound up with the freezer full of syrup. <laughs> the biggest mess. I'll never forget. You like raw peas? I love uh, black eyed peas and field peas. Not the green English ones too much. You just found your mama's recipe box. Oh, that's awesome. My husband starts his new job in January. Please pray for him if you can. It's a dangerous job, but we are blessed. Well, I sure will. I sure will, Lynn. Listen, my husband has been working out at the prison for over six years now. Hey, Monique, how are you? And it's, you know, it's something I've had to trust God with, you know, for his safety ever since he started, you know. So I definitely can, I definitely have faith to pray for you and your husband for his safety. You have to keep the fruit, fruit cake in a dark place and not refrigerate it. Welcome, welcome, Monique. I just finished my skincare. So I'm just letting everything soak in. And I, I put on several layers. So I'm hoping it doesn't peel up. But anyway, I washed my face after removing my makeup. I washed my face with this cleanser here from Glam Glow. It's called the Super Cleanse Cl Clearing Cream to Foam cleanser it's like a, a mousse and it purifies your skin and it's gray it looks like charcoal it might have charcoal in it but it smells awesome and it mattifies the skin and it's amazing yeah triple charcoal complex that's what it says it has in it anyway so you don't use it as a mask you you know you just rub it in and use water and it you try to build up a foam you know Yeah, it's, it's an awesome cleanser. I don't know why I've been sitting on it for so long. I got it several months ago, I think. I'll have to look at the card. I save all the little BoxyCharm cards. So I can, you know, because you can tell by looking at the back of the card what day or, I mean, what month it was. I like the, the Amish um, the Amish bread that you can make. You start with the starter and you feed it, you know, every few days. And then you can make banana bread out of it or you could do zucchini bread out of it or anyway, it's that's a really nice recipe. <clears throat> oh yeah, it's flour. It takes flour. Glam Glow had a thick lotion I loved, but they discontinued it. Oh, that's too bad. I I think that they switch up products because there was a product that I was looking for that I had used and I was seriously considering buying, you know, purchasing it. You know how you get like samples, you know, through BoxyCharm or Ipsy or whatever. And anyway, I got this kit and it had like several different, um, you know, types of masks in it. And so they were sample sizes all in this one nice little kit. And I still have the kit. I haven't finished it yet. How do you make black eyed peas? I have a can. Well, if you have a can of black eyed peas and you just want to warm it up, I would, um, they're already cooked. So really all you need to do is season them and heat them up. So however you like to season them, you know, salt and pepper or a little piece of pork fat or, you know, a little spoon of bacon grease. I 
I got a recipe for date balls, y'all, that I really, really like. I haven't made it in a long time. Glasses are off. Excuse the typos. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Now that I figured out that, you know, you don't have to sit around and wait for somebody to give you a starter. You can make your own starter. And the way to make your own starter is the same exact same recipe that you use to feed the starter, which is the flour and the sugar and the milk. And it, but it takes, uh, you have, it has to ferment. So it takes, I forgot how long, but anyway, twice as long. Normally after you feed it, you only have to wait like three days or something like that. But anyway, when you're starting it from the very beginning, you use those three ingredients, but you have to let it sit for like, I think seven days or something. Anyway, and just, you know, squish the bag and squeeze the hot air out of it. Yeah, that's the way we do down south. We just add bacon to everything. Piece of pork fat or something. If you got, sometimes when we buy a ham shank and our butcher slices it up, you know, the end pieces, we save all those end pieces and put them in the freezer and I use them to make a pot of beans with. Oh, that sounds good, Jonna. A date nut roll. Well, these balls, these date nut balls, I can't remember now all the ingredients that go in it, but it was, it's dates and <clears throat> I want to say it was something crunchy like Rice Krispies or something. Anyway, you mix it all up and then you roll it in powdered sugar. Oh my gosh, they are so good. Hi, Shani. How are you doing? Southern red eye gravy, yeah. Your box goes live tomorrow. Do you have a subscription box that you've that you're curating that you're gonna make available to sell to everybody? Is that what you mean, Monique? Does anyone get the Bart box? We want to get it for Willow. Um, I don't get it, but I do know a couple of people that have gotten it in the past. I don't know if they're currently getting it. But Tiffany loves t-shirts and also uh, Just Ann. She used to get the Bark Box. And I would imagine that if, jo if Just Ann still gets it, she would have a code. Oh, so it's just like a one-time deal, Monique? What's in it? What's in the box? Oh, yeah, and slice up a, an onion. You know, put a little bit of onion in those beans with your bacon. And then some pepper. And then wait and put the salt in it after the beans get done. You're welcome, Lynn. Oh, Tracy and Chloe, she gets the bark box. Okay. Yeah, that's, yeah, she's got her little dog. So, let me see. I missed something. Monique, tell us, tell us what's in your box. Lifestyle home decor. I shared spo spoilers to everything tonight. Oh, okay. That'd make a nice gift for somebody for Christmas. So you're going to do it like one time and then it, you're going to go quarterly like FabFitFun or something. 
<clears throat> What's the name of your box, Monique? Yes, Janet. Navy beans with ham, hocks, and cornbread. We just did that just this week. I cooked a whole bag. I've been eating on them like almost every day. Hi, Yvette. Welcome back. Throws, pillows, jewelry, carved wood, dough bowls. Boxy Charm finally compensated me for the November box mistake. Took 11 emails. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Things are changing at Boxy Charm, y'all. The mega drop shop sale looked like an inventory clearance to me this time. I say that I said I've said that for like three or four months, but it really did look like that this time. But I still bought stuff. I've already got one box in. Y'all wanted to see my look fantastic. Let's do that real quick. I had to turn into a human pretzel to get that box. I should have set it closer to the computer. Okay. So anyway, here's the box. It's silver this time, which looks kind of festive for you know, the holidays. But their best box usually is in December, not November. <laughs> so, anyway, the November boxes just really didn't wow me this time. I don't know if I'm just getting kind of burned out on subscription boxes or or what, but this, this only had, let's see, six products in it. So, let me give you a sneak peek here. Sneaky peeky. So, anyway, the theme is called Party Prep. Oh, did I look very stylish? Turn it into a pretzel? Did I show my butt? <laughs> Yeah, they're going to share a warehouse now. Oh my gosh, it's going to be crazy. So the first thing I see is a little palette from Revolution. And let's see if I can get it open. I, I bought the hand sanitizer and they sent me an email saying that something i don't know they didn't have it in stock or couldn't ship as many as i wanted to order or the way that they had categorized it was incorrect or something and so they gave me a full refund but they're still sending me two two it was a thing of 20 well oh, there's a little seal on this You're welcome. You're welcome. Yeah, I like the packaging. All right, so there's like a little plastic tab here that you have to kind of peel off and get out of the way to get into it. 
It's like a piece of tape. But anyway, it's just some pretty neutrals. And there's like a satin right here. And then this really pretty metallic, this gold one. And there's like a couple of nudes and a couple of browns. So anyway, just a nice little palette. You could make, you know, a variety of different looks with that. Nice little size, you know, for a weekend trip or something. Look at that shimmer. Isn't that pretty? So this looks kind of gray on camera, but it's not in real life. It's a really nice, pretty warm, uh, like a reddish brown. And this is more of a reddish brown, too. These colors aren't true with this lighting. So that's going to be nice. And then there's an eyeshadow brush from Luria. It's a cream shader. So it's kind of one of those flat brushes, you know, that you could use for... Um, you know, putting a shimmer on the lid or you, you could use it for concealer or what, you know, you could use the flat edge down here to go underneath the lash line. Really nice little brush. Totally vegan. So, okay. And then there's a couple of hair products. There's these cute little clips. I don't know if y'all can see that picture or not. So, they're slip-resistant clips, you know, to hold back those stray hairs. So, I might use those. I might not. I might give them away. And then there's a... Uh, it's called the Wow Dream Coat. Uh, it's a Color Wow Dream Coat Super Natural Spray. It magically transforms texture. Amazing humidity-proofing powers. And so, you use this right before you go in with um, a blow dryer or curling iron or whatever so that the heat from your tools activates this so like when you get out of the shower while your hair's still wet you can spray that on i'm not really a blow dryer person but all right and then we have the avant pro collagen pro perfecting uh, primer. It's called Age Restore Primer. That looks promising. So I, I have several products from Revant. Probably enough to do a Therapeutic Thursday. But they are so bougie. They are expensive. Okay, and then the last product in the box is a from Bondi Sands. It's called the Pure Self Tanning Sleep Mask. So you put this on your face, and it's like a you know a moisturizer that you wear all night long, a sleep mask. And of course, you have to wash your hands immediately after. Because it is a self-tanning. So it's got hyaluronic acid and vitamin C in it. And it's made in Australia. So this time of the year is in Australia. It's going into the summer months. So that stands to reason why they're putting it in the box. Because look fantastic ships all over the world. But anyway, I'm, I'm not much of a self-tanning person. But some people like to self-tan year-round. So. so anyway, uh, the hair clips and the self-tanner and maybe this spray right here might go into giveaways. I think I'll keep the eyeshadow palette and the brush and this primer. So anyway, we'll see. Anyway, they, I like these booklets, y'all. I save them because of the articles and everything. So anyway, it's the, the hair clips. It's two hair clips 
and they're two different pastel colors. So, but they look small. So I would imagine that they, you know, if you have really super thick hair, it probably wouldn't be big enough. I don't know. You probably want something bigger. Probably good for me though, because my hair is real fine and thin. So, anyways, the brush was a variant item. You could have got the Luxie uh, 205 or this one right here. So, I'm glad I have this one because I have the Luxie 205 already. So, anyway, there's an article here on party prep. You know, what you do to get ready for a party. So, you know, I like reading these articles, y'all. And then here's some article on nighttime skincare tips. So lots of, lots of, you know, good information. There's some facts about vitamin E right here on this page. I'm pale too, Ruth. I'm just like, oh my gosh. I'm afraid I would turn orange though. You know? With self tanners, you just never because I'm so fair, you know, might make me look kind of weird. I'd have to do a test patch before I went all in with it. <laughs> yeah, I haven't been out in the sun, y'all, in about three or four years now. And I've been using vitamin C products, you know, this whole time. Trying to get my freckles to fade and, you know, hyperpigmentation. Any any kind of, you know. You like freckles? They still shine through. Not on full coverage, you know. Makeup, though. But they do shine through. You're back. Welcome back, Mary. Welcome back. Welcome back. My daughter uses St. Tropez. Looks natural. I've heard that that's a really good one. I've had a bunch of that kind of product, you know, given to, you know, in, in boxes, you know, I probably even have some still here in my skincare cabinet, but I just never use it. I never reach for it. I never use it. All right, y'all, if we can just stop the conversation just for a minute or two. And if you are interested in um, the giveaway for tonight uh, or door prizes, I want to um, write your names down. So if you would just type in the word me in the comments and give me a chance to write everybody's name down. There's 12 of you in the chat. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10, 11, 12. I got 13 names. Oh, there's 13 in the chat now.
Okay, the requirements. Let me make sure that you guys understand what the requirements are for the giveaway. You have to be publicly subscribed to my channel, which I know you guys are because you wouldn't be able to be in this chat tonight because uh, that's the way I set it up. Anyway, have your YouTube account for at least a year. Follow me over on Instagram and have your um, profile picture set up on your YouTube page and your Instagram page where I can see that, you know, who you are. And no dupe or fake accounts. Uh, only one winner per household. Uh, 18 years or older, live in the continental U.S. Anyway, all my rules are in my description of all of my videos. <clears throat> and let me just say this tonight, y'all, with all sincerity, that... I do not play favorites. We can be really good friends, but I'm still going to require you to follow all the rules and I will not make exceptions. So if you're not following all the rules, even if you miss one of them, you know, you're not going to be able to win. So, Kelly, you're not on IG, so I can take your name out? Okay. Yes, it's L. I have you. Okay, this is who I have. Janet, Jonna, Ruth, Yvette, Lynn... Deb, Shani, Mary, Lois, um, Barbara, Erica, Sue, and Itzel. You don't have an IG account either, Shani? Okay. There, it's free, y'all. It's totally free to set it up. It's not hard at all. And... I just want to encourage y'all to participate. But it's your choice, you know. Anyway, I'm just trying to... My, I'm not accusing anybody of making a dupe account or, of, you know, being a fake or anything like that. I'm just saying that in order to be fair... You know, what's fair for one is fair for all. Does the IG requirement violate you YouTube rules? No. No, this is not a YouTube rule. The IG thing is a, is a Lori rule. Because I had people that were doing fakes and duplicate accounts. And they would make multiple accounts and none of them. None, none of the fakers had IG. None of them did. See, so I'm doing that for my own peace of mind. And so it's just, it's fair. You know, what's fair for one is fair for all. So I'm, I'm just trying not to show any kind of preferential treatment. Hey, Mari, how are you? Mari, I'm fixing to play the game. If you want in, just let me know. Okay, I'll put your name in.
Monique, did you want to play? I didn't see your name written down. What do you mean, Monique? I'm fine. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm going to fold these pieces of paper up and get going. Yeah, you yeah, you are. You're reading too much into it. I just had to address an issue, an issue that I've had with, you know, my rules. And it upsets me to even talk about it, but you know, I have to um what's fair, you know, I have to do what's fair for everybody. I'm trying to uh keep my channel a safe place. And I've had problems with scammers and people posing as fake and duplicate accounts and we've caught them red handed. And so I had to set a uh, reset all of my giveaway rules. And so I'm having to enforce those rules because, you know, what's fair for one person is, you know, is fair for everybody. So anyway, I just hate talking about it. You know what I mean? But I have to do it. In order to, anyway, that's part of, you know, being a leader. Anyway. So, and I'm not saying people, my friends are trying to take advantage of me. I'm just saying that, you know, if I set a rule that everybody has to have an Instagram account, you know, I have to, I have to go by those rules. You know, I have to go by those rules, not just the people that are, submitting to the giveaways i have to go by them so if i allow people that aren't on instagram who follow me on youtube you know when then what am i doing there it's so hypocritical you know it's like no point in even making the rule to start with you know and so i just i had to get strict just so that everybody understands that that is one of the rules Yeah, and they're still out there and they're still and they're still trying to do it too. So anyway, it just it I had to step back from YouTube for about three days, y'all, to deal with, you know, regrouping and figuring out in my mind, you know, what can I do to make my channel, you know, to keep this from happening. And, of course, I had to blacklist about a dozen people. And, you know, I just hate doing that. And I lost some subscribers, you know what I'm saying? And I may lose some subscribers over this particular issue that I'm addressing tonight. But, I mean, I, I have to do it. I just have to do it. Yeah, and I mean, I spent a lot of money, you know, on products and on postage, and they took advantage of me, and, you know, I just, I just had to draw a line in the sand, and it upsets me to talk about it. It really does. Okay, on a happier note, let's get going with this thing. May I have a drum roll, please? So, I mean, the giveaways are still here and they're not ruined. You know, it's up to you whether or not you want to get an Instagram account. It's not somebody else's fault, you know. 
I mean, you have that choice yourself. Okay, here we go. I got a name. I got a name. All right. Let's see here. Ruth. Ruth. My buddy Ruth. Congratulations, Ruth. Winner number one. It's been a while for you, Ruth. You need to win. Oh, look, there's a happy super sticker. Thank you, Janet. That perked me up. <laughs> that perked me up. He's a fun pair. Thank you, Shani. I appreciate that. Yeah, that pair is fun. Thank you, Shani. Thank you for the little kissy face there. That's sweet. Nine. Okay. Let's see here. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Let's see what you get. You've got the smoothing moisturizer called Daydreamer from Eight Saints. Nice little pot. Thank you, Yvette. I appreciate that. I love y'all too. I really do. Well, my bag fell on the floor. I'll have to set this aside. Yeah, this is good stuff right here. It's been so long you forgot you needed a number. Okay, well, we're going to make it worth your while. I'll add some things into the package, you know. <coughs> Make it a nice little package. Y'all know how I do. These type of mailers right here. These little bubble mailers. <clears throat> Alright. Let's go for another one. Oh yeah. Skincare is the bomb. That's why I do these Sunday night skin treats. I like to encourage people to take care of their skin. All right, let's do another one. Drum roll, please. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Let's see who winner number two is. It's Miss Bling Girl, Miss Barbara. Yay, Barbara. Winner number two. Congratulations. Yay. I'm glad. I'm glad your night was made with a little with a little win. You're welcome. You're welcome. Yeah, pick a number, Barbara. Any number between 1 and 25 except for number 9 because that drawer has already been opened. 3. Okay. Let's see. What's in drawer number 3? i got to find it. Here it is in the corner. It's a calming uh, lavender mask from Bolero. Congratulations. Hey.
Hey, Carla. Can you tell me your thoughts on all the Ren products from the AIA Beauty Bundle? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm actually going through in my um, Therapeutic Thursday videos, Carla. I'm reviewing the products. And uh, so far, uh, the Ready Steady Glow Tonic Toner is amazing. And then the Ever Calm Moisturizer, that is an amazing product. And then this last week, I reviewed the um, Ever Calm Cleanser. It's a real gentle cleanser. It's great for sensitive skin. All these products are great for sensitive skin. And in, or in the wintertime, you know, when your skin gets real dry, it, it's great for, you know, that type of skin as well. So it's it's really it's really a good brand. It's organic, um, cruelty free, vegan. Um, they recycle uh, their they make their packaging from one hundred percent recycled plastic, so it's good for the planet. You know, normal to dry skin. Oh yeah, you could use it when something's labeled as gentle. You know, for sensitive skin, anybody could use it. I mean. If your skin's real super oily, it may not clarify it enough in the summertime, you know, when you have a tendency to get more oily, but um, that toner would help. It definitely would help. But anyway, yeah, sensitive skin, dry skin, combination skin, normal skin. Yeah. Do you get the AIA Beauty Box, Carla? You like that eye cream from Eight Saints, Barbara? That's awesome. But anyway, if you um, want to hear detailed, you know, in detail, my thoughts on these products, I, all those videos are posted for, um, I have one more to post this coming Thursday and then That'll be four for the month of November on Wren, my Therapeutic Thursday videos. I canceled my subscription, so I'm not getting the Alamar palette, but I already have it anyway, so it's all good. Okay, let's draw one more. Can I have another drum roll, please? Whoop, 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 whoop. You have very dry skin. They work amazing for me. Yeah, they're good products. Really good products. Okay, the third winner for tonight is Itzel. Itzel Martinez. Yay, congratulations, Itzel. Whoop, whoop. Congratulations. You are welcome. Number 15. This little drawer right down here. It's the Manny Me Stick On Gel Nails. So there you go. So you can have your home manicure in minutes. So they're pretty, aren't they? Little. It goes from light pink to brighter pink, then back down to light pink. So there's that. I was just fixing to talk to you about that, Ruth. I have not received it yet. It's supposed to be here 
this week. I did get the tracking information. So it's on its way. And I think it's supposed to be here around the 23rd, I think. Something like that. So anyway. Your melatonin is kicking in. Good night. Good night, Miss Kelly. Thank you for coming by. I really appreciate it. Yours is due Friday. Okay. I'm kind of I'm kind of anxious to see how the box is going to be, you know, because we've used this one for a year now. It'd be kind of nice to switch out the box or try something different even maybe for next year. I don't know. Um, the postage is going up. Did y'all hear about that? Postage is going up starting at the first of the year. So, I don't know. I'm thinking. I'm just thinking. I want to see how the box is going to work. I may switch out the box. I may not. I may do something altogether different. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, it is a beautiful name, isn't it, Mary? I love it, too. Time to bring back the carrier pigeons. <laughs> yeah, you got one that's trained... How long, how far can they fly, y'all? I have no idea. <coughs> you hope this box is good. I have plans for it. <coughs> Are you talking about, <coughs> excuse me. Are you talking about the products in the box? Or are you talking about the sturdiness of how well the box itself is made, Ruth? Yeah, I need to get my Christmas cards going too, Carla. And if you have uh, exchanged mail with me this last year, you know, for any reason, friend mail, giveaways, whatever, then I've got you on my list for a Christmas card. The actual box. Yeah, that's what I thought you were talking about. I hope it's made well. I really do. But anyway, it's supposed to open like shutters on a window like that. So I'm kind of thinking that it might take up a whole lot of room. And I'm really, you know, I, I, would, I wouldn't mind having that space back. Because anyway, I want to do, I just want to shake it up and do something a little different. You're going to get some rest. Okay. I miss you too, Lynn. Thank you. I appreciate your support on my videos. Yes, get over that virus, girl. Get some rest. Drink some orange juice and get some rest. Good night. Oh, that's good, Carla. Yeah. See, I'm hoping that's what people will do whenever I send them mail, you know, that they'll keep my address and you know, save it for Christmas card exchange or whatever. Friend mail. Yeah, it looked cute on the website. It really did. I got to buy some cards too, Sylvia. And postage. So, and since postage is going up at the 1st of January on packages... I don't know how much the price increase is going to be, but the, people are talking about it. Yeah, I do too, Janet. I have a whole little notebook. You going to go too, Barbara? Okay. Yeah, y'all get some rest. Take care of yourself. Yeah, the forever stamps, they're nice. 
they'll go from the current price to any price increase, won't they? And they've got, I got, um, I think it was Mari. Mari sent me something that had the birthday stamp on it, y'all. It was so cute. I loved it. So, and last year I tried to get some Christmas stamps. And I just, they just didn't have them. I don't know what, what's going on with the post office, y'all. What time is it? It I'm on Central Time, so it's like almost eleven. Yeah, get some Christmas stickers. Yeah, Mari is sweet. I like the her handwriting too. It's so cute. It's nine out west. You just use the US Postal website. Oh, that's cool. Ten o'clock in Colorado, Mountain Time. And it's almost midnight in the eastern time zone. Won't be long. Yeah. It gets late. It gets late. That's why I tell y'all take a nap. <laughs> Take a nap. That way you can stay up for a little bit. Especially those that go to bed early. And it's hard to stay up. Yeah, I'm central time zone. Now, Mary, I know I have your address written down. And I can look it up. But it's easy to ask you since you're right here in the chat. Don't you live in New Mexico or Oklahoma? Where are you at exactly? I was talking, I filmed, um, Oklahoma, okay, I was telling Trent today about you, and I was filming a video that's going to come out on Tuesday, y'all look for my video on uh, Tuesday, it's uh, Trent's Fashion Show is the name of it, and I went shopping, and I bought Trent the Troll some clothes, and we did a fashion show, and we're getting him ready, because it won't be much longer, and he'll be traveling, and he's going to see Mary, beautifying MZ, all the way in Oklahoma. So I thought I'd keep him, th you know, this week, through Thanksgiving, and then mail him next week, is what I'm thinking. He's made appearances in about uh, five or six videos of mine. And I'd like to do one more, you know, his like blind voyage, you know, where we pack his stuff up and kiss him goodbye. <laughs> I've had fun with him, y'all. Yeah. So anyway, he I found I found a website that had tr uh, do doll clothes to fit. That size troll doll, and I bought some. Yeah, I'm going to have Thanksgiving dinner with Trent. So, but anyway, he's had fun here with me, y'all. He had a bath, and he had a spa day, and he, you know, used some toner, and got a massage, and run around in a towel. Boy, they're out there, Ruth, if you want them. Shop on Etsy. Etsy has all kinds of dolls and clothes and stuff. Which video did you love, Carla? Carla? 
<laughs> yeah, I'm all about the self care. I just had a pedicure yesterday, a home pedicure. My toenails match my fingernails. Oh, the one where Trent was bathing. Yeah, he took a bath. Yeah, that was a live stream. I can't sleep at night, so I sleep in the morning. There's a lot of us that, you know, don't get enough sleep at night, so we sleep during the day. Mus Muskegee, Oklahoma. So anyway, I'm not going to give away any more hints about Tuesday's video, but I do want y'all to watch it if you can. It's called Trent's Fashion Show. And he'll be trying on his outfits. I go to work. I take a nap at lunch. Carry on working and then sneak, sneak nap attacks hit. I used to get so sleepy about three o'clock in the afternoon, y'all. You know, after lunch, just sitting there, just, you know, doing data entry or, you know, things would get quiet or whatever. Thank you, Monique. That's sweet. Thirty minutes away from the Kansas border. What state are you in, Carla? You just learned how to do that? Isn't it fun, Monique? It's fun. Yeah, I set up Super Chat where y'all could do that. Oklahoma. You're Oklahoma with the Mary then. I had insomnia for years since I developed non-24. My hub's love makes me want to try to take a nap every day. <laughs> that You know what that reminds me of, Janet? The ladies in England back around the turn of the century, it was the custom for um, the ladies of the house to take their breakfast in bed in the mornings and you know have like time to refresh and you know do whatever and they didn't come downstairs they didn't get dressed and come downstairs till about 10 a.m i'm two and a half hours from oklahoma city If you don't mind me asking, what is Super Chat? Well, Erica, Super Chat is where you see different ones sending me like, you know, see the sticker there that Monique just sent. It's got 99 cents and a heart on it. Well, you hit that dollar sign right here below where you type in. And it says, show your support for Lori. And you can hit that dollar sign and then there's options. And it's just a, a way, it's it's part of the monetization. Once your channel gets monetized, then you can set up Super Chat and uh, people can show you support, not only by joining your channel, but they can, you know, send Super Chat and Super Stickers and Super Thanks and all that. Good night, Yvette. Thank you so much for coming. You're welcome. You're welcome, Erica. You're welcome. Are y'all getting sleepy? 
Are y'all getting tired? 924 is essentially my body has its days and nights mixed up and my internal clock is broken. It was caused by my skull fracture. Oh my. Nope. Nope. A little bit. <laughs> Naps are hard when you work, that's for sure. I I I used to take a nap at my I had a whole hour from my lunch break on my job at this one place. And uh, I used to lay my head down on my desk and I would just, you know, after I had my sandwich or whatever, and I would just doze for a little bit and just rest. Sometimes I would read, but sometimes I would sleep. Or I would read while I was eating my sandwich and then at the last 30 minutes of my break, I would, you know, take a, take a nap, a little nap. But I didn't sleep hard because I didn't, I didn't have an alarm, you know, and you don't want to like sleep for two hours and. Your lunch break's been over and there you are snoozing away on the job, you know. So you sleep light. Not even a little bit? Okay. Good night, it's Elle. Thank you for coming. Thank you for coming, Mary. I sure do appreciate it. Have a fabulous week. My alarm is my hubby's love. <laughs> he, sound, he sounds like he's a very uh, affectionate person. Good night. Good night, good night, sweetheart. Sleep tight, sweetheart. I hope everybody rests good tonight. My husband is off tomorrow, all day long. There's no telling what he's going to wind up doing. He's my taskmaster. He watches me like a hawk since I've been sick. Aww. Isn't it wonderful to be loved like that? Yeah, yay for Terry. He was off today, too, but, you know, between going to the grocery store and Walmart and then church this afternoon and you know, it's been kind of a busy day. But he's been lounging tonight. By the way, he did try the Burberry Brit for men that I got in my scent bird, and he likes it. And it smells really, really nice on him. I'm going to leave me alone type when I'm sick. I, I sleep when I'm sick. It doesn't even matter what you're doing. I mean, you could be clanging and banging or, you know, doing whatever. You know, I'm just going to sleep right through it. You sleep when you're sick, too. I've fallen asleep scrolling IG. Sometimes you'll hear my phone drop. Yeah, I've done the same thing. Yep, 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 yep. When he came, uh, I sent him to the grocery store where I was filming. And I, you know, gave him a list and everything. But anyway, he, he likes to pick up little surprises little extras you know and so this time of the year that includes things like cream cream drops and boiled custard <laughs> you know and then he buys me stuff too like fruitcake you know whatever so we have like these yearly traditions i like peppermint flavored coffee creamers
I'm awake when I'm sick and I still try to take care of the boys and all and they all clap back at me. Aw. He is such a sweetheart. He deserve he deserves extras. He's he's my extra guy. He he likes he's extra. Y'all hear that about certain people, you know, they're extra. He's extra. But he works really hard. He works really hard. He runs circles around me. He's he just one of those. He's like Lois. He's like one of those people that can get more done in the least amount of time I've ever seen. Very productive. You just bought a fruit cake. You haven't eaten it yet. I haven't touched mine yet either. I'll probably wait till after Thanksgiving. You know, I want to. I want to eat Thanksgiving food first before I go into Christmas food. My hub's love will bring me crab legs home every once in a while because I love it so much. I raised seven, seven children, so it it's. It's just it was. Oh, I know. When you're raising kids, you, you feel like an octopus. You're doing five things at one time. <laughs> and you get used to that kind of lifestyle, you know, that pace, that fast pace. Terry's sister's like that. She raised three kids of her own, all the grandkids, you know. Now she's got great grandkids that she's helping with. She's she's busy all the time. And no matter what else she has going on, the kids are right there with her. So right now she's just got one that comes over every day. So that makes it a little bit easier. But she's taking care of her husband, Terry, Terry's brother-in-law, because he's ill right now. He's got lung cancer. I'll be baking a couple of pies for Thanksgiving, P pumpkin and coconut cream. I love pumpkin and coconut cream pies. They're my favorites. It's funny. Some men act like they're dying with a cold. And yet we're raising kids while we're sick. Yeah. I was so busy with my older sons with their sports. So I understand I was home one night a week. Yeah, that's busy. Yes, coconut cream pies. <laughs> oh, it looks like coconut cream pies. Number one in the chat. Well, y'all, I'm winding it down here. I'm feeling kind of tired myself, so I'm going to call it a night. You sell your coconut cream pies? All right. Terry's sister makes good coconut cream pies, too. Yeah, banana cream pie. It's like the same custard, isn't it? You just put coconut in one and bananas in the other. Fudge pie or pineapple upside down cake. Mm. Ooh, make the pineapple upside down cake. Pineapples are in season. Yummy. Well, we love you too, Ruth. Happy Thanksgiving to you. Well, go eat, Janet. Now that we got your taste buds going, go eat. Pink pineapple. Yum. That sounds good. Yeah, that coconut cake by Pepperidge Farms, we like that. That's a that's a good little dessert for, you know, 
like when company comes or something and you haven't got much time. Pink pineapple. That sounds really pretty. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Well, y'all, I'm going to get off of here. Get ready for bed. I'm going to try to get some sleep tonight. Good night, Miss Lois. I love you. Love all of y'all. Y'all are so, so sweet. The best friends in the whole wide world. I appreciate your support. Thank you all for understanding. I worked in a mom and pop store and baked all the goodies. Oh, how fun. Look at you, Carla. You are a baker. Miss Jonna, thank you for coming. Miss Erica Sue, thank you for coming. I appreciate y'all. Lots of hearts and hugs. Yes, 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 yes. I'm glad y'all enjoyed it. And yeah, I'm going to try to do it again next Sunday night. Even though it's Thanksgiving weekend, I'm going to try to do it again next Sunday night. Every Sunday night, unless, you know, I'll call it off. But I always put a notice on my community tab, so you know what I'm doing, you know. Yay! Whoop, whoop! All right, that's it, y'all. I'm going to call it a night. I love y'all so, so much. God bless you. Tonight is my prayer. See you next time.